In this example, we will be finding the square root of 180. In order to find the square root of 180, we first need to review an important math rule, which is that the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. This means that if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, we can separate out those square roots and multiply them. To do the square root of 180, we first need to think of the factors of 180. While there are many factors of 180, I am choosing to use 36 and 5 because 36 is a perfect square. Values such as 4 and 9 also are factors of 180. However, 36 is the largest perfect square that we can use as a factor of 180 and therefore it is a factor we will choose. Now we can rewrite the square root of 180 as a square root of 36 times 5. Now we can use our math rule we just established to write this as a square root of 36 times the square root of 5. Because 6 times 6 gives us 36, we can rewrite the square root of 36 as 6. And now we will have our simplified answer, which is 6 times the square root of 5. However, we can also go further in estimating the square root of 180 to the nearest whole numbers. In order to do this, we want to think about the perfect squares nearby to this number. We can look at 13 squared, which is 169, and 14 squared, which is 196. Because 180 is between 169 and 196, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 169 is less than the square root of 180, which is less than the square root of 196. Because 13 squared gives us 169, we can rewrite the square root of 169 as 13. And similarly, because 14 squared is 196, we can rewrite the square root of 196 as 14. We can now see that the square root of 180 is between 13 and 14. In order to find the value that the square root of 180 is closest to, we want to look at the difference between our perfect squares and the 180 value. We will do this by subtracting. First, we will do 180 minus 169, which will give us 11. Now we'll do 196 minus 180, which will give us 16. We can then see that 169 is closest to 180. Therefore, 13 will be closest to the square root of 180. Now we can approximate the square root of 180 as about 13.